There is one little warning light that drives more people crazy than almost any other, and that's the TPMS light. That's the tire pressure monitoring system. It pops up on your dash and instantly you're wondering, is it a low tire or is there something else actually broken? Most people think that a light just means add some air and you're going to be good, but sometimes it doesn't go away. You top off the tires, reset the system, and the light still comes back on. And that's when the guessing game really starts. Here's the truth. That little symbol isn't just about pressure, it's about communication. Each wheel on your car has a tiny wireless sensor inside that talks to your car's computer. When even one of those sensors stops responding, the whole system goes silent. Now, a lot of people think fixing it is as easy as buying new sensors online and going to the tire shop and having them reset it. But that's where the myth starts because not all sensors are created equal. Not all frequencies are the same and just replacing them doesn't always make the light go out. So in this video, I'm going to show you what's really happening behind the scenes with the TPMS light. We'll scan the system, find out which sensors are dead, test the signals, and I'll explain exactly how the computer reads and sometimes loses communication with your tires. By the end, you'll know how to diagnose the system like a pro and avoid wasting money on parts you might not even need. This isn't a guess and check repair. This is real world automotive diagnostics. Let's dig in and I'll show you what's really going on behind that little yellow light. 